Hey, this is Time Bomb, and if it's your first time checking out the channel, hit that subscribe button to catch all the updates. Thanks a lot for joining me here today. I'm going to do a breakdown on a defense that I've been using, which has helped me shut down a lot of different crossing routes, and I think it's only gotten better. Actually, pre post patches, I've been working on it here tonight to release this video, which, uh, I mean, basically my thoughts on this patch are, I mean, I can see why EA hasn't been putting out content when they've been working this hard to put out a patch this bad, right? Like, if you're going to disappoint both the content and the gameplay community, I think that takes effort. So you should you should commend yourself, EA. It's it's impressive that you could disappoint on both fronts to this level. Great job. So we're gonna oh, shoot. I don't know what I did there. I hit a random play by accident. Let me get back here in the book. So the play that I'm gonna go over here out of the dime is the three double buzz. And I like to have a good safety or like your Shazier's, your Rokon Smith's, if you're gonna have a middle linebacker, someone fast who's gonna play this um, middle linebacker spot playing that deep blue. And then your safeties, you wanna have them to have some decent man coverage because you're gonna be using them to cross man some different routes. So you might start off just keeping them in their zones, but really what you wanna do is specialize this play once you know what your opponent's running so you can use those those man ups to shut down your opponent so i'm going to use pat sales as an example here of how we can shut it down pretty simply here so we're going to use this three dime three double buzz see there's the play art normally for it so what we're going to do is we're going to put cloud flats on the field first of all uh, we're going to man up this lb here across on owens and then we're going to man up A across on Moss. And that um, little hook zone we see there, we're going to change him into a uh, hard flat. And we're going to put those back in cloud flats then. And we see I'm on uh, LT here. You can have LT or whoever your user might be, Shazir, uh, in that spot. And you put them into a little hook zone. And that's who you're going to use her over the middle. And then I shade uh, outside and I protect the sticks. Those two things I think are very important. I've mentioned them in other videos to help you um, cover outside on a play like Pat Sales. So here's the Pat's basic Pat Sales setup. Oh, oops. There we go. So I've got see them basically cro doing running these crossing routes and rice going up the middle is a pull route. And yeah, you're not going to get much pressure because you're only sending three. But the important part here is you're shutting down the coverage. I think it's always good to mix it up here, right? So if we're going cross, we can see that they're going to pick up B right there and shut that down. And then we're going to do it again here. Show the setup, base align, uh, put cloud flats cross man here on those two outside receivers. See, I've got my uh, hook zone for my user there and those cloud flats are on the field. Then we're gonna shade outside and protect the sticks. And you should be able to do that pretty quickly within seven seconds. Um, if you're not on it, they might get you. See, in this case, the halfback's on the left side of the quarterback, so he's most likely gonna run to that right side if he does. And this actually does a pretty good job shutting the run down, actually. Um, but if he, the halfback was on the other side, then I might shift the line over just in case he does run to just stop it there. Whoops, cancel that. Yeah, we look good still there. And then with the offense, gonna get that slant set up here. And we're gonna try to throw to Moss this time. We're gonna show it, hopefully get shut down again. Cause I mean, you know, nothing's unstoppable, but here we go. We're gonna try to put that up to action. I was able to sneak it in there, but I am seeing them drop down on that play a lot more. Let's try it one more time. See if we can shut down that Pat sales route like I've been seeing here. And he's looking over to me. Oh, well, the pressure got in there at least that time before I could throw it just a little bit late. Here, we're going to give it another try. And the other thing, too, is you can remember you can always get your user over there to help as well if you see it cutting in. You know, just getting that set up right. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, sending it over. So again, looking in deep, and we see the coverage. Boom, dropping in there this time, shutting him down. Easy to go. And you might 
remember too, there's that that hard, that one uh, safety that we're putting into the hard flat on the right side of the field. Now you don't necessarily need to do that with him. He could be in a hook zone. That could be who you um, again decide to 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 use her as well. I'll set up that offense here quickly. Um, so that sorry right here that uh, we're just gonna quick set up to our cross manning. So instead of putting Williams, in this case, into a hard flat, that could actually be your user. And then you could just either leave LT blitzing or have another little hook zone over there or, you know, whatever you want to do, a spy, depending on what your opponent's doing, you can use that to adjust with, right? And then if your opponent is, like, starting to throw, like, rice up the seam or motion rice over to... See, that's where it would depend. I might leave him in, like, a hard flat or something like that if he was motioning Rice over and, and running a drag across, so I had some help over there for that underneath. Or I might just leave it in a cloud, let him have that five, just to give him that until later when I want to take it away. Or if I saw him running up the scene, then I might user it and just kind of, like, fall back with this user up here and cover it so he can't quick throw it and then pass it off to the deep blue before it gets there. Or, you know, give a little help with Moss running a hat sail if he tried to throw it a little earlier. I'd just be there. Or it just, you know, gives me a lot more options to help out with run support by usering that one there. So you have, you can go a couple different ways. And this play actually does uh, pretty good against the run, too. I messed up here. I'm going to reset the play. This is going to be against the run. Oh, I ran it pretty bad too. But there's a lot of room. But you see, at least he closed in on it and they did kind of lock it up. But I guess I can't give the no block shit guarantee. But I haven't had too many problems run, uh, stop, getting any run stops. I haven't been getting pancakes when I've been using it. So this play has been really good for me to adjust out of, and you know, you don't want to be running it every play. It's not, you know, a primary run stop, but you can definitely get some great shutdown plays on the defense, and you can get a little bit of pressure on the quarterback sometimes, too, like I was saying, if you want to, well, let's use, for example, uh, let's blitz RB this time, and man up those guys, put a hard flat here out instead, and I would use her Taylor, whoever I had there in the situation, and then for my opponent, give them lots of options, see if the, how quick the pressure is going to get in there. Oh, we're getting great protection, way too much protection on it this time. I think we're going to be able to throw that. No, they do make a play on it at least there and still get the coverage in there. I'm not able to throw it away. I had to roll out to that side because all the pressure was coming in over there. So the offense did pick it up. I was blocking seven there. So that's the thing about the bunch. It does do a great job about picking up a lot of different pressures. A dime, you got to send a lot of heat, I think, to get it in there. And I don't have any great blitzes at this moment out of dime, but it's something I'm working on and look out for a little bit more coming up. So let's take a look at some of the gameplay footage I have for this as well. So in this first play, my opponent's dropping back to pass, and the pressure does get in here, and he's got to throw it away before he can really let anything to develop. Here, my opponent again, dropping back to pass, rolls out to the side, looking, got a few receivers down there, but has to just run out and take off with it because nothing's really open for him to throw before he uh, can get hit there. Again, we see the cross man coming over. He tries to run the ball. Everyone gets in there. No block sheds again. Shuts down the run. Here you see he's dropping back. Only sending three at him. He's able to pick it up, but when he tries to throw it in there, our coverage is able to knock the ball away down deep. He's not really able to get a completion. Again here, just using LT right over the middle. So right over there is stop, stop. He tries to go up top. All those defenders just converge on it. I'm able to get that big pick there. Run it back. Have a nice return with this DB, but almost into field goal range here. And I'm sure quickly after that, I did nail it. So getting a lot of good stops with this play. It's a great play for, you know, it's, it's something that I, I can talk to myself about, like a second half play where it's the kind of play where I've seen what my opponent's doing, I'm kind of picking up on his tendencies. And now I'm going to shut down those plays because I know what he's bringing. I've seen it enough that I can use a play like this where I can adjust out of and just shut down those routes because I've seen them all game and I'm not going to give it to them anymore. So thanks a lot for checking out this video. I've been Time Bomb. Let me know if that stuff works for you. You guys are awesome, and I will catch you later. Boom, boom.